Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pizza fans of all ages. My name is Mike, and welcome to Pizza Mon Mario. We are now 24 hours removed from Shredder joining Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. And I've been having a blast with him so far. I think he's a pretty fun character to use. And I do like the Double Dare stage as well. Well, it's called Slime Time, but it's Double Dare. I mean, we all know it's Double Dare, so I'm just gonna call it that. But yeah, I do like the stage. It was a little hard to fight on at first with all the slime everywhere, but I got in the hang of it. And I do like playing on Slime Time or Double Dare, whatever you wanna call it. Now, if you haven't seen my gameplay video Shredder that I did yesterday, make sure you go check it out. Link to the playlist of my Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl videos will be in the description. Right now, it's time for my DLC ideas for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl Episode 4. Last time, we talked about my ideas for Jimmy Neutron, who as we may know is a very highly requested character for this game, along with Jimmy and Timmy, who I did previously as well. Now we're going to talk about a character who's kind of part of that, like, big four, I guess you can say, of most requested characters for the game. That is... Rocco Wallaby from Rocco's Modern Life. A character I'm surprised isn't already in the game because he was a playable character in Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 Grand Prix, so you'd think that he would be in this game by now, but I guess not. However, the devs, I think there was like an interview with one of the devs talking about Rocco, how they wanted to get into this game, but they couldn't. I don't know if I got my facts straight on that, but yeah, and Rocco was also in that character voice data mine that was found a while back. Along with Filbert, which is interesting. And also there were items that were discovered to be in the game. And one of those items was Psychomatic, which is of course from Mako's Modern Life. So if those aren't signs that Rocco might be in the game soon, I don't know what are. But for right now we don't have any confirmation that he's gonna be in the game, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my ideas for his moveset, stage, and alternate costumes if he does become DLC for this game. So, let's not waste any more time. Now I'll take a seat, get comfortable, grab his snacks and your beverages, and let's get started. I can't think of any clever Rocco's Modern Life puns to use right now, so I'm going to go right into the moveset and talk about the light attacks. It's light neutral. I've got Wallaby Kick. Rocco will stand on his tail and just drop kick you. Like a wallaby he is. Some of you have never seen the show before, Rocco is a wallaby. I used to think he was a dog when I first saw the show, but no, he's not a dog, he's a wallaby. Speaking of dogs, for Rocco's Light Up, I have Spunky. So for this, Rocco will pick up his pet dog, Spunky. Spunky will lick Rocco, and his tongue will hit the opponents. It'll be like a big old lick. Like, think of Spunky as Odie from Garfield. Big old tongue, you know? It could work. For his light down, I've got Tail Whip, or as Stewie Griffin would call it, Tail Whip. So Michael will just whip his tail at you, like a spinning motion. You know, like that, I guess. That sounds like a Tail Whip, right? Right? It doesn't, doesn't it? No, whatever. Now for the light air attacks, for light neutral air, I've got Overhand punch. This will work similarly to Mario's overhead punch and smash. So like, wham! You know? For Rocco's light up air, I have... I don't know exactly what to call this move, but I called it shock. As in, like, Rocco getting shocked like he does in the show. And then, like, something crazy is about to happen. Like, his brain pops out and, like, the head comes off and all that. It's actually taken from a picture in the credits that you see. I think it could work as a move. You know, why not, right? For Rocco's light down air, I have down kick. Nothing too creative here, just a simple kick to the ground, you know? In the air. Yeah. For Rocco's light dash attack, I have Cowboy Rocco. This is taken from the episode the good, the bad, and the wallaby. That's the part where Rocco had to save Heifer. He was riding the sheep. So here, Rocco will just ride his little sheep and crush into you. And you can have the cowboy hat on as well. I mean, that'd be nice. And those are my ideas for Rocco's lot attacks. Now, if anyone's curious where I got the first four moves from, I got them from the infamous 
Rocko's Modern Life, Spunky's Dangerous Day on a Super Nintendo. So yeah, I figured I'd let you guys know that in case you were curious. And if you wonder why I call it Infamous, well, it wasn't a very beloved game when it came out, from what I understand. So, yeah. Could be a very dangerous day if we talk about Rocko's strong attacks. Let's do it. For strong neutral, I have Brain Pop. I don't know what else to call it, so I just called it that. Basically, this is from the intro of the show, when Rocco is about to run away from Earl. Before he does so, when he sees him, he goes, Dah! You know, his brain pops out like that. So that can be a move, he can get hit by the brain, you know? You can see that. Rocco's strong up, I've got... Yeah, Melba. Yeah, Melba. Yeah, Melba. I'm gonna do it! Well, it might be too long for title, so let's we'll go with yeah, Melba. So Rocco will flex his big old muscles that he doesn't have, only in the mirror, and he'll hit you. Boom! You know, on straight into the air. Dog's not the only one who can have muscles. You know, give my boy Rocco some muscles. Have him German suplex Brock Lesnar. Okay, I'm not going too far, but you get the idea. For Rocco's drawn down, I have... TV slam. Again, take it from the intro of the show. And Rocco runs from Earl and he hides in that little TV house and it falls down on the rest of the characters. So it'll be kind of like that. It'll be kind of like Toph's wall crash. I think that's what it's called. But it'll be faster and it won't go on left or right of you. It'll just go straight down to the middle. So yeah. Enough for the strong air attacks. Strong neutral air. I've got eyeball pop. You know, Rocco's pretty well known for his wacky facial expressions in the show, so... Gotta include them all, right? You know, for this, Rocco will let out another high-pitched scream. His eyeballs will pop out of his sockets. You know? I mean, Wrench Dippy haven't moved similar to this, but... Rocco's probably have more range, I feel. Strong up air. I've got... Green Slime Ball. This is from the episode Trash or Madness. So basically, for this move, Rocco will pick up the Green Slime Ball it'll explode pretty much, you know? Now this picture that I have here is from Mugen. It's one of Rocco's specials. It was the best picture I can find that will demonstrate what the green slime ball will do in the game. So yeah, that's why it's here. For this drawn down air, I have Splat. For this move, Rocco, take out his spatula and slap it with it straight down. Since Spongebob doesn't have a spatula move of his own, we'll give it to Rocco, you know? For strong dash attack, I have Laundry Day is a very dangerous day. Or to put it simply, Laundry Day. This is from the episode Unbalanced Load. The part where Rocco had to chase down the washing machine that has clothes in it. He was riding it down O Town. And that's what Rocco will be doing with this move. He'll be riding the washing machine as it crushes into you. Yep. And that's it for Rocco's strong attacks. Let's try and beat the 12 o'clock deadline and talk about Rocco's special attacks. The neutral special, Frisbee. So for this, Rocco will throw a Frisbee and Spunky will chase it and when he grabs it and you run into him, you take damage. This will be similar to Duck Hunt's Frisbee. You know? Kind of like that, I guess. So you can pretty much get hit by the Frisbee itself, too. For the up special, I've got Flick. Again, something from the intro. So a random hand will pop out and flick Rocco up to the air and it'll run straight down flat. A little splash to say. Yeah. For the down special, I've got Jackhammer. Yeah, you know I gotta put Rocco's Jackhammer somewhere in the moveset, right? Now this could be similar to Donkey Kong's down special in Smash. You have to just keep tapping the button multiple times to get it to like do like an earthquake effect, you know? I can see that working with Rocco's Jackhammer. Those are my ideas for Rocco's specials. Now, let's talk about the stage you can come with. So for the stage, I went ahead and picked Rocco's house. We have room for one more house stage in the Clone All-Star Brawl, right? To go along with Cat Dog's house and the Loud House. I know I said in the Jimmy video, I'm gonna put two uh, carnival themed stages in the game, but I couldn't think of any other stage for Rocco other than his house, so. Plus, I think it's pretty good layout-wise for a stage. 
I mean, it might not be a competitive stage or anything, but I still think it could work, you know? Now let's talk about Rocco's alternate costumes, shall we? So the first one I have here is Rocco's workout outfit from No Pain No Gain. I think this would be a good idea for a costume for Rocco. I mean, it's different colors than his regular shirt, so it should be recognizable. And it wouldn't take too long to fix his animations to match the costume, I feel. That would be simple. You know? And the second costume I have is the Pilgrim outfit. Or should I say, the Pilgrim outfit. So this is a reference to the episode Flounding Fathers. I was also on the title card of Turkey Time. And I picked this costume in particular because it was Rocco's alternate costume in Nicktoons Taka Toy Box, so you might as well go with that for this game as well, you know? And then the third alternate costume I have is, say, the best for last. Rocco in his swimming trunks. Yeah. Shirtless Rocco. You know, Smash has uh, their shirtless characters with Shulk and... Sephiroth, and got Bathing Suit, Zero Suit Samus. Of, I guess you say Bathing Suit Samus. You know, we gotta have at least one character in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl with a uh, shirtless alternate costume, right? Who better do that with than Rocco? You know, especially when he does the yeah Melba move. Definitely see his muscles there. But come on, shirtless Rocco. Make it happen, Ludosity. Make it happen. We gotta put Rocco in the game first, though, but yeah. So those are my ideas for Rocco's alternate costumes. Hashtag shirtless Rocco for All-Star Brawl. Someone make that real. And those, ladies and gentlemen, are my ideas for Rocco Wallaby if he becomes DLC in the Glory and All-Star Brawl. Like with Jimmy, it was kind of difficult to come up with the moose set for Rocco at first, but hopefully I did enough to do him justice. I'm sure the devs will probably do better than I ever could, but yeah. Let's wait and see if he gets in the game, which he probably will. Honestly, and with the information that I presented at the beginning of the video He might be the first paid DLC fighter we get it's possible So that's gonna conclude my DLC ideas Nickelodeon and all-star brawl episode 4 Where will the next episode be out? I don't know. I still have some other characters are ready to go for this series Maybe we'll do another episode next week. It's possible I'm also gonna be working on a top 10 most wanted DLC characters for Nickelodeon and all-star brawl so I'll be reviving my top 5 series, thinking to a top 10 series, so stay tuned for that. I might do some other videos on the Glenn All-Star Brawl, you know. I'll talk about some game modes I like to see, you know, stuff like that. Maybe I'll do some CPU tournaments like I used to do with Smash Ultimate. You know, I want to do more content on this game, because the game has a quite a bad reputation going on. You know, a lot of people keep calling it dead, even though the plugin never officially pulled on the game. Like, people are still calling it dead, no matter what they do. But I want to try to change that. I want to get people talking about the game still. And I want people to realize that it's not dead. Okay? So look forward to more videos on the Clone Star Brawl in the future. But for right now, it's time for me to hit the road. That's going to be it for today's video. Did you like it? If you did, give me a solid and punch the like button below like a piece of dough. And if this is your first time on this channel, you like what you saw and you want to come back for more, shut up, truck! Hit that subscribe button so you become a member of the Pizza Mon Mario Party today. Shut it out there, friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, or whoever you want to share with. Hit that bell on turn notifications. You can be the first one to see all the Queen videos. Have a little time. Leave a comment. Till next time, this is your boy Mike signing out. So, peace out, y'all. Hope you have a great rest of your day.